there's no way I could honor you mm -hmm. and, and really celebrate you and not want to talk talk about or hear about your mother and your father. Oh, absolutely. Can, yeah. you, can you tell us about absolutely. that? Absolutely. I talk about it all the time because I was raised primarily by my mother. I didn't know my father well. He died at a very young age. And this was a woman who taught me everything mm. that I know about being a businesswoman, about the you know importance of family and of prayer. And I watched her do everything and anything to make sure that we had everything that we needed. Mm. I always talk about having gone to private school and seeing my mother at the school all the time and not realizing until I was a lot older that the reason she was there all the time is because she was cleaning to, for our tuition, really? in exchange for our tuition, yeah. Wow. And, you know, so your mother living, cleaned the school that you so went that to, we went to private school. So that you school. could go there. Absolutely. And the house that we lived in and, you know, she constantly, she was an entrepreneur, you know, at heart and always had businesses. And when I was a young adult, uh, I realized that my mother was functionally illiterate. Wow. So when I recognized everything that she was able to accomplish mm. with the limited resources and the very limited you know, information she had and how frustrating that must have been for someone like her who wanted to do so much more. It just became like the battery in my back. Oh, yeah. It became oh, the yeah. motivating factor because I'm just like, there is no way in hell I cannot and will not do everything that I possibly can to always, you know, yeah. function at my highest. Yes, ma'am. Could, could, you, could you speak her name? Janine. 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 Janine Ridore. I know yes. that's right. Can we celebrate that tonight? Can we celebrate yes. her mom tonight? Yeah. No, I, I, it, that's, it's, it's powerful to me on many mm -hmm. levels because my mom had a fourth grade education. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I had the same response. Yeah. I watched her you know, buy a home mm -hmm. in Queens. Mm -hmm. There you go. <laughs> in a white neighborhood. And I, and I dedicated myself to the proposition mm -hmm. that I would make her proud. Absolutely. And let me tell you to your face, you have done that in spades. Thank you. You are an extraordinary. Thank you so extraordinary much. Extraordinary gift. Now, I know, I know a lot of people know that you started in the music business. Yes. And that, well, you know, a lot of people don't know that, so I appreciate that you are starting there, because a lot of people okay. think Love & Hip Hop was it. You know, it right. was such a monster hit that people don't even know that I started in the music industry. And what's interesting about that, because what, what I was going to ask you, what I want to ask you is, mm -hmm. what drew you to, to the music business? It's interesting because if I had to tell the long story in a very short period of time, I would say that it wasn't even like I was drawn to it. You know, there are people who kind of aspire to mm. being in music. I kind of stumbled into it. Really? Um, I started out uh, working with artists on stage shows and choreography and, uh, you know, their stage presence. And that kind of put me in proximity of their day-to-day -day movements. And that led me to kind of helping them out, which opened up the doors for me to manage, which I didn't even quite know what that meant at the mm. time. And I got, you know, an office space in the basement of a residential building, hung a shingle and thought I was in business. <laughs> didn't know what the heck I was doing. Couldn't even believe that they had put their career in my hands. Right, right. Um, and I just set about figuring it out. So what was...